Today I'm going to show you how to encrypt external drives on Mac OS. My name is Trevor, this is NerdLearn, let's get started. This process applies to thumb drives as well as standard external hard drives, whether it's a solid state drive, Western Digital or Seagate or anything like that. Now it's really important to make sure that if there's any data on this drive that you back it up before you start this process. So if we right click on this thumb drive here, it's already been plugged into the computer. We can see that there's no encrypt, decrypt, there's nothing there. This other drive, however, does have the option. This is actually encrypted, so of course I have the option of decrypting. So this is what we're trying to resolve. So we're gonna go into disk utility. We're gonna locate our drive. And if we click erase, all of these options here will not support encryption. So just choose cancel on that. Up in the menu, click view, show all devices, and highlight its root level. So this thumb drive, it's a 16 gig thumb drive, we can see right there. So we're gonna highlight its root level. If I wanted to reformat the five terabyte drive, I would actually highlight up two levels, but we're not doing that. Highlight your root level, click erase. So start from the bottom here, change the master boot record up to GUID partition map, change the format over to APFS, and then give it a name that you like. Click on erase. If you get an error on that screen, unplug your external drive and plug it back in, and then just erase again. Now this error message here, I'm not sure why it shows up, but it doesn't actually affect what we're trying to do. So just click done, get that off. And then uh, disk utility, we can close that. And now if we right click on our drive, we can see that we have the option of encrypting. When you encrypt, it does not delete your data. So we're gonna actually stick a file on here. I got my super special stuff right here. This is on the external drive. So we're gonna close out of that. We right click, choose encrypt, give yourself a good password. And if you need a help or you wanna see how good your password is, click on this and you can adjust these settings. But if you wanna type your own, so apparently hello is not a good password, but we're gonna go with it anyway on this. Click on encrypt disk. So the drive will automatically disappear as it's being unmounted and it will reappear once it's mounted. And then when you, you gotta wait a few more seconds, but then right click on it and it'll say encrypting. If you do it too fast, it'll actually still say encrypt. So you just need to wait a little bit longer. So we just gotta wait for this process to finish up. If your hard drive is a very large hard drive, it's gonna take some extra time. Go grab a, a nap or coffee, hang out with a friend. So the drive is still usable while it's being encrypted. So this only took a few seconds because this file is very small. So the more data that is on the hard drive when you perform the encrypt, it's gonna take longer. You can open the drive while it's being encrypted and access your data. Uh, it's just gonna run a little bit slower. But then after it's been encrypted and it's all done, the files open and they're pretty responsive. A good way to tell when your drive is done being encrypted is the LED on the drive will quit blinking. So at this point, you're all done. You can eject your disk. So we've ejected the disk from the computer. I've unplugged it from the computer and I'm actually gonna plug it back in. And what we're gonna notice now is we get this enter a password to unlock it. So if you put in the wrong password, of course, as expected, it doesn't unlock but by typing the correct password, it does you open it and we can see all of our super special stuff. And that is how you encrypt external drives on Mac OS. Hope you found this helpful. Take care.